So this is section 3.6, and we're going to talk about what's called slope-intercept form. So uh, we've been doing some work to find the slope of a line. Remember, the slope is how, is how steep a line, and the slope we can write as change in y over change in x, or, or sometimes that's described as rise over run. So remember, that's what slope is. So the intercept, this is the, the y-intercept. So on the graph, um, this is the y-axis, this is the x-axis. The y-intercept is just the point, it's the point where it hits this y-axis. So wherever that, the line crosses it, that is the y-intercept. And notice the name like tells you what it is, y-intercept. So we have a y-intercept and a slope. And um, the form of equation we're going to talk about is called the slope-intercept form because it actually gives us both of those things. So um, if I have an equation that's in the form y equals m times x plus b. If I have an equation that's in that form, um, this number that's in this m spot is my slope. And this number that's in my b spot is my intercept. So let's, uh, let's do an example or two. So if I had an equation that was, let's say, y equals uh, 3x minus 2. So just looking at the form, it's always going to have the y, and it's always going to have the x. In it. Um, that's always, always what's going on. But now this m, the thing that's multiplied by the x, right here, there's my slope. I can tell right away that the, that the slope of this, or the m value, is 3. It's just a number that's multiplied by x. And the y-intercept, which is called b, in this case, we, could, we can describe it two ways. We can say it's negative 2. We can also say it's the point 0, negative 2. Now let me talk about what that means. Um, let's make a little sense out of this. It, it, you don't have to do this to solve these problems, but if I was to make a table for this equation, 0, 1, two, three, like this, um, and just plug in values. So if I plug in zero, zero for x, notice I have three times zero minus two, zero minus two is negative two. So when x is zero, y is negative two, right? If I plug a zero into this uh, equation, it spits out a negative two. So let me try it with, with one. So I'm gonna plug one into here now, x is one. 3 times 1 is 3, 3 minus 2 is 1. So when x is 1, y is 1. And I'll do the, I'll do the next one as well. Oops, I'm going to erase here a little bit. Plug a 2 in. And when x is 2, I can plug it in. So 3 times 2 minus 2. So 3 times 2 minus 2. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 minus 2 is 4. Plug this last one in. Take this 3. Plug it in. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 minus 2 is 7. So notice this is, uh, what I have here is a table of values for this equation. And again, you don't have to do it this way, but you could graph them. 0, negative 2 would be about here. Uh, 1, 1 would be about here. 2, 4, 2, 4 would be about here. And so on, and they would make a straight line. Now, notice, if I go to find the slope on, on this, like we've done this work previously, if I look at my change in x, my change in x is 1. And my change in y, it's going up by 3. And so if I think of change in y over change in x, 3 over 1 is 3. My change is 3. Now I don't have to go through all this work to find it if I recognize it in the equation. The slope is always the part that's x multiplied is by multiplied by. Because notice when x goes up by 1, you're basically multiplying 3 by 1 more than before, so it's 3 more. So the slope is always whatever number's out here. And the y-intercept is when x is 0. You know, again, this is x, this is y. When x is 0, um, that means that we have to ha have no left or right motion, right? Like we have to be somewhere on the y-axis. So this is the point 0, negative 2. So again, there's two ways I can talk about the intercept. I can say it's negative 2, which tells me like where it's on the y-intercept or on the y-axis. Or I could also say it is the actual point 0, negative 2. It always be whatever uh, 0, b is for that. 
So there's basic idea. Um, let me erase a little bit. And uh, just write an equation. I could have something like y equals 2 thirds x minus 9. And just identify uh, what's m and what's b. Just We'll just do some identification. And for this, let's write b as a, as a point. So on the quiz, sometimes it'll ask you to write b as a point. Some it'll just ask for b. Just pay attention to the directions. If you ask for a point, it's going to be the form 0 of something. And if not, it's just going to be... Uh, you know, the value. So let's see, m looks like m is two-thirds, two-thirds times x. That's my slope. That's how steep this line is. And b is negative 9. So there it is right there. Uh, here's another example. y equals five-sevenths, uh, negative five-sevenths x plus uh, 8. What's m? What's b? And again, let's write b as a point. And so you can see m is just the thing that's multiplied by x, the slope, negative 5 sevenths. That's how steep this line is. And the y-intercept is 8. And so it's actually asked for it as a point. So I'm going to write it 0, 8, just like that. Great. So hopefully uh, you're feeling good where you can look at the equation and just identify the slope and the y-intercept. So with that being said, let's... Uh, Look at a graph or two. So here's a graph of a line right here. And if I take a peek at that, uh, I just want to identify the slope and the y-intercept of it. And for the y-intercept, let's just write it as b. We don't need to write it as a point. So um, first off, y-intercept is, like I said, where it crosses that y-axis. So it's that right there. It's the point zero four. Right now, I'll just say b is 4. Again, it would just depend on what your directions say. And now let's work on this slope. So to find the slope, I want to find what's called lattice points. And those are points where it crosses actually like on the corner of the grid. So like here is a, here's a lattice point. And here's a lattice point. You know, where it hits the corner of the grid. So let me figure out the slope here. This is going over 1 and down. And remember, I'm counting these spaces in here, one, two, three, it's going down three. So my slope, again, change in y over change in x. So my slope here would be negative three over one, which is just negative three. All right, let's look at another line. So taking a look at this line right here, and we are going to, again, just find m and b on this thing. So if I uh, take a peek, my y-intercept, again, is where it hits the y-axis. So it's right here. So my b value must be negative 3. Again, if it asked me to write it as a point, I would write it as 0, negative 3, not negative 30, negative 3. And uh, my slope, I'm going to find those lattice points. So boom, right here. Here's one. Here's one. So I can go from any lattice point to any other lattice point. So and again, what I want is change in x and change in y. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This goes over 5 and up 2. So it looks like m must be 2 fifths. Remember, change in y goes on top, rise over run. All right, let's check out another one like this. So there's a new line. Whoops, wrong spot. Sorry about that. All right, where's my y-intercept? It's right here. Where are my lattice points? Wow, it's a long ways away. I guess it's not that bad. There's one here. So if I want to find this, uh, the slope of this, I already know b value. b value is 1, the y-intercept. And then, so this goes, it looks like over 4. Yeah, negative 4 to 0. And then down 3. So that's a negative 3. So my m value, remember, is change in y over change in x. Negative 3 fourths. All right, just one more like this one then. All right, there's our new line. Oh, it looks like our b value is 0. 
and our slope this looks like it goes over 3 up to change in y over change in x or rise over run so m would be 2 thirds great so let's uh, look at a couple of tables so I'm going to clear this off so here's a table and my x values are going to be 1 3 5 6 and 9 and then my y values negative 3.5, negative 2.5, negative 1.5, 1, oh, negative 1, m.5. And for this table, I want to find what m and b both are. So a couple pieces here. Um, first off, b, remember, is like 0 something. It's when, when x is 0, what's y? So I don't actually have my 0 on here. So what I'm going to do though is I'm going to figure out my slope first and then that'll help me work backwards to get my to get my y intercept my b value. So um, notice I have these changes in x. This is uh, changing by 2, by 2, by 1, by 3. And this is going up by 1. And if you don't see it on your calculator go negative 2.5 minus negative uh, 3.5 and that'll give you that change. This is going up by 1, this is going up by a half, 0.5, and this is going up by 1.5. So it looks like it might not be linear, right? Plus 1, plus 1, plus 1 half. But remember, these are changing too. All these ratios should be the, chain, the same. So change in y over change in x. So um, when my change in y is 1, my change in x is 2. All right, that works. That works here. Uh, Look at this, this is pretty interesting, this one right here. When my, when my change in y is 1 half, my change in x is 1. 1 half divided by 1 is still 1 half. Um, you can plug any of these in and they will, they will work, they'll, they'll give it to you. So let's uh, go with this slope of 1 half. So my slope is 1 half. So that means every time um, change in y, change in x, every time x changes by 1, Every time x changes by 2, y changes by 1. Or every time x changes by 1, y changes by a half. So I could walk this back and I could like reduce this by 1. That means I would have to take a half off of this or a 0.5 off of this, negative 4. So that must be a negative 4. If it asked me for a point, I'd write it like this. If it asked me just for b as just a number, I'd write it like that. Let's do another example like this, another table. And on this one, 4.5, negative 0.5, negative 5.5, negative 8, negative 15.5. So let's do this, think of this change as well. Uh, we're trying to find both both m and b here, so our slope and our y-intercept. So this changed by 2. Wow, look at that. I kind of like that. This changed by 2. This changed by 1. This changed by 3. This one, um, I could go um, negative 0.5 minus 4.5 or something like that, and it would, um, it would get me there. It is... And going down by 5. This is going down by 5. This one is going down by um, 2.5. Ooh, there's my slope. And this one goes by, by a minute. But I don't need to, you know, I could just do them all. So notice that, like, change in y over change in x. 
and that must be our slope. Then our slope must be um, change in y over change in x, so negative 5 halves. Notice it shows up here too as negative 2.5 over 1. Negative 2.5 over 1. So we can also write it as negative 2.5. Same thing. And actually, this format in negative 2.5 helps us find our b more easily here because um, if this goes back one, this would go up that amount plus 2.5. So 4, 5, 6, 7. I could write my, my y intercept as 7 like that, or I could write it as 0, 7, depending on what I was asked for. All right, I just want to do one more. One more example, and that is going to be graphing these. So if if we um, were given an equation, say something like y equals 3 halves x minus 1, and we needed to graph it. So remember, it's mx plus b, so our m is right there. There's our slope, and our b is our y-intercept, that negative 1. So that's kind of like where we start. And remember, it's the y-intercept, so along the y-axis. So I'm going to start here along this y-axis. And then my slope would be uh, 3 halves. So if I have 3 halves, slope is change in y over change in x, or rise over run. So that means I go over 2 and up 3. So from this point, I'm going to go over 2, 1, 2, and up 3. And I don't remember, I, like I'm counting these, so 1, two, three. I'm counting the segments, not the point. So there would be a graph of that line right there. Uh, let me graph just two more different lines. I'm going to do it right on top of this one, and I'm just going to try and change the color. So how about if I had uh, y equals negative two-fifths x plus three. So looking at this equation, there's my m there's my b. So b is where I'm going to start. That's, that's the point zero 0,3. So that would be here. And then if my slope is negative 2 fifths, remember change in y over change in x. So over, over 5, but then negative 2, so down 2. So over 5, um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then down 2, 1, 2. There would be my next point. I could keep doing that. Oh gosh, sorry about that. Uh, I could keep doing that, but it would, I got distracted by that other line. It would look like that. Okay, I wanna do, I wanna do one more and it's getting messy, but I'll, I'll just do one more. What if I had y equals one third x? What's my b value? Well, if there's nothing there, um, it's a zero. This is like writing one third x plus zero. So if it's just written like this, I know that my b value is 0. So along that y-axis, it must start at 0. And then the slope is this 1 third, change in y over change in x. So over, over 3, up 1. So 1, 2, 3, up 1. There it is. Draw a straight line through those, and I'm good to go. I want to show you one type of quiz question that you're going to see. Um, it'll ask you to graph the equation. It'll give you something like this, 1 half x minus 3. Um, I tried to make it not very touchy, but sometimes the points are a little touchy. Uh, so negative 3 is my y-intercept, so I, I'd have a point there. You can just click and put a point there. And then you put the other point where you want it. And so notice if my slope's 1 half, and that would be rise over run. So over 2, and I just go, okay, over 2, 1, 2, down 1. And click and I try to get it you know try to click it after you click it you can still move it and if you start accidentally start other lines you go oh clear all I gotta start over so negative three try to get it on there over two down one and let me submit it and see if I got it yeah mine 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 fit oh yeah so mine fit so um, when you do these Five. Notice the slope's negative four. So over one, down four. One, two, three, four. Try and graph them as good as you can. It didn't work for me, so that means my points are off a little bit. So I would come back and, and move my points, you know, try and get them a little bit better. Maybe resubmit it. Okay, I got it. So trust yourself on this. It's pretty touchy about the points. All right. 
So uh, give the assignment a try. Message me if you have any questions or anything is giving you any grief.